In this video, we are going to deploy our application to the internet. You're watching Dev Tips with guest hosts and PJ and David. We, we, we wanted to do this using Heroku. Yeah, we said that. Because Heroku is this thingamabob service to put uh, all kinds of applications on the internet. It's nice because it's very easy to use, kind of. It's free if you have a very small application, which is very nice when you're doing this kinds of projects where you just want to throw something up. You have to create an account at Heroku, I think. You yeah. Authenticate with your GitHub account. But no. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it, it's possible that you can sign up in with your GitHub account. But either way, just create a Heroku account somehow, and then you will end up with something like this, but much, um, uh, much smaller. I don't. I think okay. we can do this using the command line. Okay. Um, okay so we just have to have a Heroku. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that we, we will ever need to view this, to be honest. Okay, so. There we go. First option. This one. No, no, no. The first actual option. Download and install. Yes. Oh, we can do it with Homebrew. Let's not assume that people have Homebrew. Yeah. So we just use the macOS installer. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have assumed that you have a Mac. If you don't have a Mac, it's very easy. You just uh, take the computer that you have, you throw that away, jump to the terminal, you just write Heroku and see if that does something. It does things? It does things. Just oh, to make one thing clear, probably you had it before, right? Because we, hadn't, we haven't signed in or anything. Oh, no, that's or true. Is it just working magically? No, uh, I had it before. Yeah, oh. okay. So probably you will have to sign in through your account details and stuff. That is true. Now we need to figure out how to deploy this. Normally this can be a li there's a bit of fiddling involved with this, but uh, there happens to be a Heroku build pack for things that are created using uh, Create React App. Uh, the specific build pack for React. Cre uh, create React App. Someone made something. Here's the build pack. One thing with development is that it's a lot of googling. Like a lot. So, and you google things and you basically try to figure things out. So this is not something that we know about before. I just peripherally knew about the concept of th that Heroku has sort of this thing called build packs. We just search for that. So let's hit quick start. Ensure requirements are met. What are requirements? Heroku command line tools. This is the terminal, a free yeah. account. We have that. We have Git, we have Node, we have create React app and we have done that. Okay, yeah. we've done everything. Uh, create React app app name, we've done that, yes. we entered the directory, we have initialized git, we, this we haven't made, right? Create yeah. the app. Yeah, this git in it, by the way, that is stuff that um, if you use a command line for git, you, um, yeah, you, that's command line stuff, but we don't use the command line, we use the git when uh, desktop application. Okay, so let's just hit the terminal. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it automatically ran that. Okay, yes, quickly created a, okay, a Heroku up there. Okay, <laughs> we'll create another. Screw it. Yes. Uh, what's, what's it called? Better playlists. That has to be taken though. No, it hasn't. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, well, again, next step. Git add the files and commit. So basically this says that this command created some files and now we want to add those to it. It didn't create some files, it created the Heroku app instance remotely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is, so we, this is just because of the init and everything? Yeah, exactly. This is, they are mixing two things together here. We don't, they are uh, like creating a Git repository and adding files to it and things. Uh, we already have uh, a Git repository with things added here. Yeah. Um, so I think we could possibly just do that one, git push Heroku master. So this means that we're pushing it, the master branch, to another remote that is not GitHub. Precisely. It is Hero the Heroku server. Yeah. And this command set up everything that is... Yeah, exactly. It set up... Um, it did set up... 
um, another remote. So remember what I said before that Git is decentralized. So we have one Git, uh, Git one version, one. We have the repository on our uh, computer, and the repository also exists on the on on GitHub. And now Heroku also has set up a repository for us for this application uh, on uh, on their service. That one is empty at the moment, so we're gonna push to that. I can actually demonstrate if you just we're, we're gonna do some Git commands here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show how you use Git without the um, desktop application. Yeah. If you just write Git uh, remote, I think uh, ls like that. Yeah. No Git remote. If you just write Git remote. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there we see that there are two uh, two remotes. So if you write git remote uh, dash v for verbose, you actually see the um, the URLs here. So the Heroku remote is on heroku.git.heroku.com and the origin remote is on github.com slash mpj. Yeah. Precisely. So if we go, yeah. Push Heroku master. Precisely. So on the we push the master branch of our repository to the uh, remote repository on Heroku. Uh, and since and here we, it returns a lot of messages. Yeah. So what it does here is that it we spent when we created the application we uh, specified a build pack, uh, uh, which is a build pack specifically for the create Re create React app, uh, and that is. Another advantage of using uh, something like Create React App is that we get this kind of infrastructure. Somebody has created a way of telling Heroku exactly how to serve this. This is also things that you could uh, figure out on your own, but at this point, we kind of want to use high level tools that gets us going as fast as possible. And when we, um, when we start learning this more, uh, if we do at some point in the future, we're instead of going from the ground up, we're gonna take this big thing that we built and we're gonna break it apart into its components and, and learn every component uh, one by one. This is actually the the way I personally prefer to learn because I find it really hard to get things to stick in my head unless I know how they fit in the grander scheme of things. So if it's possible, I want to build like the big thing first and then start learning the little things about what I did afterwards. Normally this is very fast, but for some reason or other, because of Murphy's law, which is that everything always fails, if it can, um, GitHub is having some network issues and is being really slow. So it's not our connection because right now we see that Heroku is uh, also having problem with GitHub. Yeah, but it works. It's just very slow. I thought it would be the fastest episode because it was so little to do. Yep, lies. But this is actually also what we ran into when we were uh, doing the uh, pair programming episode on Final Function. Deployment was so slow, and we were spending lots of time just looking at deployment scripts running. And if you like looking at deployment scripts running, you can watch that episode. Uh, <laughs> This is the future. We shouldn't be waiting for our computers. We're waiting for other people's computers. No, who refuse to talk fast. My internet connection is 500 uh, gigabits, and Heroku is running on the Amazon cloud, which is an infinite army of servers. And we are still waiting for several minutes for this shit to run. Oh, another build pack. Jesus! Hopefully, this will be faster when you do it. Uh, otherwise, we are making a horrible recommendation. Okay, no, like, you can grab like several cups of coffee this time. You just drive to Starbucks and come back with a coffee and then drive there again. Yeah. Yeah, recording this at high definition uh, on a 180, 128 gigabyte SD card. Great use of space. Done. Deployed to Heroku. All right. Should we run the Heroku open command? Yeah, you can. Like, it's if you see here on the. It's, it's or we can just go there. Yeah, you can go there uh, or just write the short, shorthand Heroku open, but does this work? D it did not. It worked. It works, but the... 
what is this? Why is one... Like, like I wonder this when we started doing this. Mm. Uh, why is the background gray? I have no idea. What, is, what does that come from? Because I don't remember... I've used Create React app before. And I don't remember it being gray. It was actually David that showed me Firebug uh, for the first time, which was the predecessor, uh, which was a installable Firefox tool back in the day. I, I, I don't know why it's, why it's gray. Can you just inspect the body? I, I did. Wait. Now localhost. Now it's white. What? What? Oh, okay, we have to redeploy. No, <laughs> yes, we do. But we need to fix it locally too. Yeah. First. Okay, so just here we, <laughs> here we have an app. It's live and you can share it with your friends <laughs> to see this small text field. But okay, just... All right, we need to fix this. We need to uh, give it a background. Okay, so how would you do that if you're against CSS? I would actually do this particular thing in CSS because you want the, the body styling uh, makes, makes sense to go in the CSS. I guess you have to def add the background color in both the body and the HTML, I think. Why is it not happy? I have no idea. Because you have not written anything in it, perhaps? Yeah. Perhaps. Okay, uh, background color gray. Cool. Perhaps some darker shade. Maybe. Ah, not, let's just do it. Let's just point. do it. But this is the remote app. Oh, there okay. we go. Okay, cool. So let's um, let's commit that. Too gray. Cool. So, all right, so we can push origin there. We should be so able... Now we're pushing to... GitHub. GitHub. And since GitHub is sort of down, this will take ages. Oh, Good God. Big mistake. Why does this happen when we are recording? This never happens, by the way. GitHub is one of the most reliable things in the world overall. Ah. Uh, <sighs> Okay, so GitHub seems to be done. But you know what? Uh, at this moment, doesn't matter because our uh, repository is, uh, is decentralized. Git is decentralized. So we have the entire repository on our machine and we can push from our machine to the, uh, uh, the repository on Heroku. So just switch here to the yeah. Heroku one. Sure. Right, that didn't help. No, I think you have to... We should be on master on our own branch. On your, right. So that's correct. But I think that it's this one that we want to uh, change. Can you right click that or something? You know what? Let's use the command line. Git push. Heroku master. master. Right. Unfortunately, uh, Heroku will still need to pull things from GitHub, uh, so it won't help us much. No, but we're done. We have something up and rolling here, and it will hopefully update sometime. We are investigating reports of connectivity issues to github.com and related services. So there is actually something. Uh, something going on. It's not just us. Um, let's go have some coffee. Yeah. All right, it's it done is... finally. <gasps> right. Okay. So, <laughs> did it? Is it correct? No. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I think it was some caching going. Oh uh, yeah. All right. Ah. Uh, okay. So yeah, this looks neat. All right. So. We just uh, deployed our uh, application to the internet. It's now available on the internet and we have like this way of, of deploying it. So you might notice here that some of you 
uh, might be used to have some of you might have done something like this before and then you it, you, it might be that you used a shared hosting thing uh, and you used uh, FTP. So we didn't do that here. We deployed directly using Git. There wasn't any FTP involved here at all and we didn't need to set up any uh, shared hosting. We didn't need to uh, sign up for any service whatsoever. We just ran a Heroku command and pushed it. Uh, and. Uh, we had some snags with very slow GitHub, but it still worked. In the next episode, we're going to populate the components with some data to have them actually do stuff. And you can watch that episode here. It's going to be amazing. Please click it now.